Want this splitting the screen effect in After Effects? Twice. You know what's gonna happen. I do. Get the clip that you want to appear from the split and set the scale to 57. Now add a solid layer and make it the color red. Open the scale property and unlink it by clicking the chain icon. After that, change the values to what I put them. Now keyframe scale and make the value zero. After that, go to the part where you want the line to be fully visible and make the scale value 100. The animation is really stiff because the graph is linear, so we're going to easy ease the keyframes by selecting them and pressing F9. After that, go to the graph editor and copy what I do. Now select your solid layer and press P to open the position property, then keyframe Y position at the start of your clip, and after that go to the near end of your clip and change the Y position of your solid until it is at the edge of your clip. Now easy ease the Y position keyframes and copy what I do here. After that, duplicate your solid layer using Ctrl plus D or Command plus D. Then change the Y position of the end keyframe on the duplicate solid to the opposite edge of the clip. Now, using the mask tool, make a small mask of your clip in the line. After that, go into the selection tool and double click the mask, then extend the mask to the rest of the line. Now, keyframe mask path and copy what I do here. Now easy ease the keyframes and adjust the graph till the mask moves with the solid layer. Now select both solid layers and pre-compose them twice. Now duplicate the composition and add the turbulent displace effect. After that change the size to 15. Now click the stopwatch next to Evolution while holding Alt or Option. After that, change the expression on Evolution to time 500. Now add the deep glow effect and change the exposure to 0.6 and change the radius to 400. Then add the BCC drop shadow effect and change the shadow intensity to 100 and shadow distance to 15. 
Now pre-comp your clip and copy what I do here. Now pre-comp both compositions. Now go to the point where the solid layers start to move and keyframe scale and rotation. After that, go to the near end of the clip and change rotation to 6 and scale to 110. Now easy ease the keyframes and copy what I do here. 